So you're seeing me in all my glory. Um, I went for my eight kilometer walk and on the way home I stopped at the thrift store, which I shouldn't have done. Anyhow, I, um, I have been looking for a smaller couch because I'm downsizing. I'm a senior now. And uh, certainly a senior with curly hair, I can tell you that much. Anyway, I, have, I was just sweating up a storm today, so shower time tonight. But I found uh, a love seat, a chair, and an ottoman. And you're not going to believe what I paid for it. I will post it. I will post how much I paid for it. But I got three big, um, big chairs and, and couch. I got three items for $90. I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't say no to it. I couldn't say no to it because I have priced couches and you know I mean I can get couches on on payments but I don't I don't really want to do that. I want something small and you know I'm I'm on my way out. I mean I'm not going to spend I'm not going to be here for another 30 40 years, right? I mean I'm sure. I'm in my 60s, right? So I'm sure my time is coming, but for the time being, while I'm here, I want to have something small. I want to have something cozy. And, you know, I kind of told my kids, I said, you know, come get some stuff. The, the stuff that I'm leaving to you, wouldn't you like to use it like now? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm giving my children the things that I have purchased that are worth some, some coin, you know, in the previous years over the, yeah, I mean, my kids are going into the 40s. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not old. Anyway, so, you know, I've purchased some good things and I kept it good over the years. And so now I want them to utilize those things. And what I'm going to do is I am going to let them take um, those items to use them now. And including pictures like this wolf picture. I mean, uh, I have two wolf pictures. Uh, three, three wolf pictures. And, you know, each of, each one of my children get a semblance of something that I have in my apartment, whether it be, you know, a wolf picture, whether it be, you know, a table and chairs. And like I have a massive table and that's going to another child. And this couch I'm sitting on is massive, <laughs> too big for me. Mind you, I got it on sale and it was beautiful. And I, you know, I paid it off in, in payments. I did the payments and it cost me like $500. But I paid it off in payments. But it's a beautiful couch and I kept it in really good shape. And so another child's going to get that. So what I did is I purchased uh, this. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here. In all my glory. And I just finished supper. So, yeah, so I purchased this stuff. And then I was thinking, Jesus, how am I going to get it home? <laughs> So they gave me a number of a fella that would uh, pick it up and two fellas that would pick it up and bring it to my place. And I don't live that far away from where I purchased it, just basically in behind uh, the place I purchased. So I called these fellas and I said, OK, well, how much would you charge me to pick this up and deliver it to my place? And they gave me the price. And, you know, I mean, I understand why it's expensive, but it's not something I can afford. So I was thinking, geez, like I've already purchased it, you know, and I mean, I purchased it for $90. I'm not, I'm not going to say no to that because couches are really expensive. And so I thought, geez, what can I do? Well, I remembered that I bought, I'm so, I look awful. <laughs> I look awful, I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, so I purchased this big wagon. You know those big wagons that you uh, you see a lot of the older people uh, pulling around with their laundry and things? So I purchased one a long, long time ago for just those in case times when I had to move. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of a traveler. <laughs> I've moved a lot in my lifetime, so I'm used to it. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm sure I'll be moving again, right? So I purchased this thing, and I was thinking, geez, I could use that. Well, I'm going to post a picture, and that's exactly what I did. I used this big wagon. There was a young lad in the store, a high school student, and he helped me lift. Now, I have to take it one item at a time. So tomorrow, uh, the store is only open till 5 o'clock, and they, ver they were very specific with me. You have to be here before 5 to pick this up, and you have to pick it up like tomorrow has is the last day. So today... I thought, okay, well, I'm going to beat it to the punch. And so it was about 3 o'clock, 3.30, and I came home uh, from, you know, purchasing it. I came home, and I grabbed my wagon, my little old trusty wagon, and I grabbed it, and I walked back over to the store with my wagon. 
And I got this high school student to help me lift the armchair and, uh, no, just the armchair. The first load was the armchair, right? So we're, we're talking about it was something after three and they close at five. So, <laughs> so I walked it over. I got him to help me load the armchair on top of the wagon. <laughs> I did. I did. And then I walked that wagon with that armchair i walked it all the way home and i mean it's not far but but it's you know i'm in my 60s right? <laughs> you know it was a little heavy yeah so then i get it home and i'm thinking oh no i gotta get it in the elevator and the elevator's not that big <laughs> So thank God there were some guys that were working uh, in one of the apartments refurbishing it. And so he says, do you want me to help you with that? And I would you? <laughs> so he, he helped me get it into the elevator on top of my wagon. Wagon and all. And I'll, I'll post the picture. You'll see. And so I got it into the elevator. Then I get up to where I live. And then he says, you want me to help you get that out of there? I said, yeah, sure. That would be great. So he, he helped me. And he was on his way upstairs to, to work at one of the above floors. Right? So he took time out of his day. I look horrible. I keep noticing this, but <laughs> anyway, so he, he took time out of his day to help me get it out of the elevator. And then he said, do you want me to help you get it in the apartment? I said, no, because it's going to take me forever. And I know you're on a schedule. So no, you go ahead. But God bless you. Like, thank you so much. What a sweetie. Yeah. So then I get down to my apartment, I open the door and I'm thinking, mm. <laughs> Maybe I should ask for a little bit of help, right? Now, this is just the first load. This is just the armchair. So I, I take the legs off the armchair. I put them in the wagon. I move the wagon. I turn the armchair on an angle, what I'm used to seeing, um, you know, other people when they get furniture, bring it in. Like, don't forget, when I moved into this apartment, there was no one helping me. I moved myself, but that was eight years ago. That was like, let's say almost 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my 60s. So I would have been in my 50s, and I was pretty strong back then. <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. I have nobody helping me do nothing. Just anyhow. Oh, I'm trying to get you in a position where I'm not getting all the kids' photographs. Oh my God. Anyway, so I get it to the door. Oh, you can't see them. Anyway, I get it to the door. I turn it sideways, take the legs off, and I bring it in to my apartment. And I kind of like, kind of like angle it and get it into my apartment. And then I get it in. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm thinking, oh, I got to go back. I'm going to get the ottoman to go with that. And then tomorrow I'll get the, the love seat that goes with it, right? And that's three items for that amount of money. It was like amazing. Okay, so I bring it in. I, I don't set it up. I just kind of leave it there. And my kitten's kind of running around like, Mom, what are you doing? You know, what's going on here? Anyway, so I leave it. Then I get the wagon and I hike her. I just hoofed it back to the store. I pretty near ran. I pretty near ran. And I, I thought, okay, I can't take the love seat today. I just don't have the energy. I'll have to do it tomorrow. And I'm going to do it on the wagon. I'm going to prove I can do it plain and simple. And I will post another picture or another video when I have it all set up in my apartment. So uh, my son is going to come and get his couch, right? And he's going to take that and then I can move my couch in and kind of set it up for Christmas or whatever. So anyhow, I get back to the store, you know, and the girl's kind of saying, you know, you got to be out of here by 10 to 5, you know, like we close at 5, you know, blah, blah. And I was thinking, geez, like I just paid 90 bucks for, for couch, being a little bit nicer, right? But there were, there were the girls in there, they're on their feet all day. You can't blame them. They're on their feet all day and they're dealing with customers all day long. And, you know, their breaks aren't that long and they, they're volunteers. They get paid, or they don't get paid for this, right? So, you know, God bless her. I mean, I, mean, I understand. And whatever your divine is, but my divine, I mean, I say, God bless you. It's just an idiom. Anyway, um, so this time I took the Ottman, <clears throat> the Ottman, and I took the cushions, the two cushions that go with uh, the love seat that I'm going to pick up tomorrow morning with my wagon, right? And so I, I, I put loaded it into my little little black wagon and I pulled it back down the street and I come back to my apartment and I come back up to my apartment I come inside my apartment and then I mean it's easy to move an ottoman in the apartment but then oh god 
<laughs> we like Joya. I'm going to show you, okay? I have two couch. I have like a big couch. It's not my couch anymore. I gave it to my son, okay? But look, but look, okay? So there's, that's only part of it. <laughs> it's a massive couch. It's massive. It's massive. I'm sweet, massive. So what I had to do is I had to rearrange everything so that I could put in this this chair and set it up right so I mean I do this with everything I have a spray and I spray it down first because I'm not bringing no little critters into my apartment and I do have a rug cleaner um, well my daughter has it so she's gonna bring it to me and I am gonna clean them I'm gonna get a really good uh, strong um, cleaner and I'm gonna clean it but uh, these couches the couch that I bought the reason I love it is because it's been treated and it has a little sign on it that they've been treated you know when they um stain guard they put that stain guard well they have stain guard and so the the chair and the couch are just beautiful now there was another item that went with the set and it was a massive couch it was the three-seater i only wanted the two-seater so i got the chair the two-seater and the ottoman that's all i want so the couch is still there and i think the couch was only 60 bucks Anyway, the material is kind of like um, a core drive material. And I used to have a round couch. And I did sell that couch. I had it for years and years and years. And my daughter loved it. She wanted, like when I passed, she wanted that couch. But it had a little bit of a tear in it. Okay. And, well, I shouldn't say a tear. It wasn't really a tear, but it was on its way, right? It was wearing out. And I, I sold it for a good price. And the people that I sold it to, they loved it. So they were very quick to jump on it. So it's the exact same material, right? But it's newer and it's been treated. So it's it's going to last a little bit longer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to purchase. I'm going to have to save up for it, though, but I'm going to purchase a cover to put on them so that I can protect it a little bit more, right? But anyway, so then I had to rearrange my whole freaking part. Yeah. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever, right? So you'll see the pictures. You'll see the pictures. But the cat was like, Mom, what are you doing? Like, jeez. Like, what are you doing? You're changing everything around. And he didn't like that. And he didn't like that at all. But he knew better than to scratch on it. So he's got a place where I've got a scratching post. And he likes it there. And he wasn't too pleased with the fact that I was moving things around. <laughs> He, was, he wasn't too clean at all, and he was batting at me and everything. But I got the, the chair and the ottoman set up, and so now the only other thing I have to do is bring the love scene in. And so I'm going to change everything around. Right? I had to move like um, a couple of um, end tables. I had to go get uh, an end table that I had in my room, I had to bring it out because I don't have an end table for there. So I brought the end table out. And then I moved the couch because they're coming to get the couch. Uh, but I had to move the couch down by the window. But when I get the, the love seat, um, I, I'll do feng shui. So I'm not going to close the entrance way to the patio window. And you'll see it's getting dark. See? But I'm not going to put a couch this way. Because in feng shui, you have to have the flow. Your house has to have flow, airflow, right? So I'm going to put the couch. The other uh, love seat's going to be right here. And now I'm kind of wishing that the kids could come and get that damn couch now because <laughs> I want to set it up, right? I want to set it up for Christmas. And then in this corner is where I put my Christmas tree. That's where I'm going to put my Christmas tree. And I love Christmas. Christmas gets set up in my house um, at the end of this month, <laughs> October. Yeah, we don't even have snow where I am yet, but... Christmas tree is going up at the end of this year, and I have a little snowman that that's a, a standing snowman, and I have so many little Santa Clauses that stand up. Um, I have, um, you know, the little snowflakes that kind of shine all over the place, right? I love, I love it. I love Christmas. It's such a happy time. And, you know, there's so much misery in the world, and there's so much sadness and heartache in the world that at this time of year, in my in my spiritual faith now there are many other uh, spiritual faiths in the world and they believe in different things okay but this is my season to rejoice and to be happy that i'm alive to be happy that um you know the big guy seemed fit to keep me alive now don't forget i had eight to ten years well ten years ago i had a heart attack 
Eight years ago, I had uh, a stroke. Six months after that, I had another stroke. And I've dealt with bouts of skin cancer where I'm still healing from it. I still have some here. But I had them on my face really, really bad. I don't have any more there. I do have one here that I'm dealing with. And so, you know, I'm lucky to be alive. I'm lucky that the big guy seemed fit to keep me on the face of the earth. Now, I don't know what I've got. I don't know why he wants me to, wants to keep me around. There must be something um, that, you know, is meant for me to, to do. Maybe there's something that I'm meant to do. But now, right now, I'd like to decorate for Christmas. So I would like for the kids to come get the couch is what I'd like. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I've done. I have set up the chair. I did spray it down. I am going to do the, um, you know, you can like the rug cleaner thing, but it cleans the couch, you know, with the hose and all that. So I am going to do that. Well, so I brought the end table from my bedroom out and the lamp that was uh, in the in the dining room, I brought it out. I've got two of the exact same kind of lamps, so I'm going to set up two of them. But I am going to keep one of the end tables in my bedroom. My bedroom is a whole different matter. I am going to be redoing my bedroom. Um, I am downsizing and I have a massive king size bed with a, a beautiful, like very thick um, mattress and that once again is going to one of my kids because I don't I don't need a bit, bed that big you know what I mean but I will tell you this I have to laugh because when my kids come visit I have grandkids right but I only have one bedroom so they all got to sleep in one bed <laughs> and, I, and it's a massive king-size bed right right but when I got the mattress and it's one of those posturpedic, not really expensive mattress. And when I got the mattress, and I'll tell you this, I have to mark everything in my apartment with permanent marker. Just because, just saying. So it's it's marked and it's been, yeah, yeah. There's picture taken of it and it's marked. I've had things uh, go missing on occasion. So anyhow, anyhow, so what I'm going to do, or what, what happened is... <laughs> Sorry, I go on a tangent. I'm old. I'm old. What can I say? Anyway, so I have this king size bed. But I don't have the box spring because I don't like box springs. They're heavy, they're cumbersome. And don't forget, I had to move into this apartment. I had no one helping me lift the box spring and the mattresses. I'm lucky if I could lift the mattress that I had. And this is a new mattress because it was given to me. It's a brand new mattress. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh my God. So I don't have a box spring. So when my grandkids and my, my family members come to visit, if they spend the night, they have to sleep in that one bed. And it's a big bed. I mean, it's king size, lots of room. You could fit like a, you know, a trailer full of people on there. <laughs> Anyhow, they're all girls, don't worry. Anyhow, <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny. So they were sleeping. We were all gone to bed. And all of a sudden I hear this, thunk <laughs> I hear a massive thunk and then I hear my my daughter go oh my god <laughs> mom <laughs> and so I go running in the bedroom like I thought oh my god something happened right <laughs> everybody's laughing and I'm thinking what the hell and what happened is those the the bed frame is for a queen size bed and this is a king size mattress without a box spray it's a you know, you're supposed to have, if you don't have a box spring, you're supposed to put like a piece of plywood or something. Well, I didn't have the money to get plywood. <laughs> so I just put the mattress down. And all of a sudden, all three of them ended up on the floor. <laughs> so I had to get under the bed and I had to, it, like seriously, it's like three years of age, okay? I had to get under the bed, I had to put the rungs back on and I told them when you get into bed, be very gentle. Don't move around a lot. <laughs> Not more than half an hour later, thunk. <laughs> and once again, the freaking stuff, the little legs on the bottom, the mattress fell through again. So I went in again. I fixed it again. And I kind of said, like, there's nothing I can do. Like, just just be real careful when you get in the bed. Don't roll around a lot. So I don't think they had a very good sleep that night. <laughs> so I am going to have to try to get some plywood for that. But, but I am hoping on... Um, 
redoing my bedroom, getting a smaller bed, and I would like to have a dresser. I haven't had a dresser for years. I haven't been able to afford one. So I'm going to look to see. I mean, and they've been getting a lot of uh, really good secondhand furniture uh, where I purchased the, the love seat and the chair. So I'm going to keep my eye open and see about a smaller bed and maybe a dresser that I can, you know, I've been hanging up my clothes for years, right? And I got like a closet full of clothes, you know what I mean? So um, that's a circumstance that I'm going through. And, you know, I've had um, some instances that, you know, I just, I, I'm just horrified something that uh, happened this week. And I'm going to try to cut this video down short, but I will mention what took place. Um, I am going to post that video uh, later in the week, but watch for it because um, I was shocked that somebody would actually have the nerve to do this to me. Uh, and it was so blatant and it was a, a thievery, but it was such a blatant thievery that I, I just can't believe anybody would have the balls to do that. And the truth is, you know, if somebody, if I have something that somebody wants and they're destitute and they're desperate or, you know, I don't, are you like kleptomania? I don't know. Is that such a thing anymore? But, you know, if somebody needs something desperately, ask me. I have lots of, like, if you need it, ask me, right? Don't steal it. And I've dealt with that just recently. And I'm just heartbroken because um, this item I had to save for and I saved and I did without and yeah I would say it's a bit of a tearjerker and I think I know who took it but I can't prove it so you know I'm going to have to chalk that up to experience and that's why I'm saying that everything that I move in I have to mark and I shouldn't have to live like this I shouldn't have to live like this but in the circumstance that I'm in and in the modern age it seems that I mean you watch it on TV you watch when there's a you know there is a, what do you call them when they break into the the stores and it's like massive like massive amounts of people not just one person they're breaking into the windows they're breaking down the doors they're going in they're stealing i watched on the news one time because we're not allowed to post it in canada <laughs> otherwise i would anyway where they literally ripped a TV that was in a display and still attached to um, the cement pillar, okay, they literally ripped it off and and dragged it, <laughs> pillar and all, out of the store. Like, what kind of person are you that you would steal TVs and things like that? Are you really that? And they didn't look like they were destitute. They didn't look like they were destitute. I think these are people who are just too damn lazy to save their own money or to get a job to work for their own stuff, okay? And, you know, stealing from the stores, that's why things are so expensive. Because, you know what, the company has to make up that money, that profit, and so they will raise the cost of these items. Yeah, yeah, so... Just putting that out there, and I've I've been through that in the past little while, but um, I'm praying that the good Lord up above is going to see fit to maybe replace that item for me before uh, we get on winter. So we'll see. I'll keep. Uh, I'm going to keep it in my prayers and see maybe if I can manifest it. Right, but this is what I've done, and um, I'm kind of excited about. Uh, redoing my living room. I'm excited about it. It gives me joy. Um, I can't wait to put my tree up to get this couch out of the way and to get my Christmas tree up. Um, I'm going to be putting up two Christmas trees in my apartment this year. Um, and the reason why is because I have family members who are at a distance and I am going to celebrate for them. I'm going to put up a tree that was bought specifically for this person and I'm going to set it up and I'm going to decorate it, and I'm going to put, um, what do you call it, an ornament specifically for that person. Now, what I normally do if somebody has passed in my life that was important to me, I will put um, one of those um, glass bulbs, and I'll put a feather in it, and the four medicines. <clears throat> native, a uh, native um, ideology. So, and I'll put those medicines in there along with a feather to let them know on the other side that I truly believe in, um, you know, that we continue to, um, I mean, my loved ones are still around me. I know it. I feel it every day, right? So I just want them to know that I acknowledge that, that there is perhaps an afterlife that I will see them when it's my time to go there. So, and I do, and I hang, um, 
I hang the bulbs with the little feather and the four medicines on my tree. However, I'm going to be hanging an ornament for someone who's very much alive and very much important to me that I love dearly. And I'm going to be decorating this specific tree specifically for that person. So, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. And you know, I, I am on a diet. <laughs> I am on a diet. However, I am going to be I am definitely going to uh, be doing some cooking. Sorry, my camera kind of kicked in there, but I'm going to be doing some baking. I'm going to try to freeze it because I love the apple crisp that I made that I ate it all. <laughs> so maybe if I make smaller batches of the apple crisp, you know, like a little one in a little tiny pan, you can buy those little tiny pans. I might do that, but I am going to put it in the freezer this time, and I swear I'm not going to touch it. So anyhow, I want to show you where I set up my uh, my chair. I have to move the fan. Hang on just a minute. Because I did spray it. So I did spray it. And so I am going to show you if I can get this out of the way. I live in a small apartment. Okay, so isn't that beautiful? Isn't that nice? So there's an ottoman and there is a beautiful chair. And like it's unbelievable. It, it, the whole thing, like I still have the love seat to get and it only cost me $90, you know, and all it needs is a good cleaning and that's it. I got it made. So I'm happy with what I purchased today. And, uh, you know, thrifting is, um, it's an art. <laughs> it's an art. I have thrifted many things in my lifetime, many things in my lifetime. And you know what? I always had a nice place. It, even when the kids were growing up, I always made sure that I had a home that was very comforting. And I like to have it uh, warm. I like that kind of country vibe, okay? And so this is my favorite right here. I do have a Buddha up. I believe in every like i don't just specifically um cater to my own beliefs okay i don't i don't say okay i'm only going to have a crucifix or a crucifix on my wall okay i like buddhism i i listen to the muslim um ideology i i have honor for every different religion that there is i respect them all and i love to learn about them and so buddhism uh, well the buddha i'm not putting the buddha there so i can idolize him okay so i'm not idolizing the buddha it's a pretty statue and it has a light in it and i do meditation and so a lot of the times i will use the buddha statue um, to get into my meditation you can mix the two religions together. You can be very spiritual. You can believe in the native philosophy. You can believe in, in meditation, right? I mean, Ayurvedic uh, ideology. So I kind of mix, I blend it all. I'm kind of like, what would you call it? Heinz 57? <laughs> yeah, so if you're asking what religion I am, I'm a Heinz 57. That's me. Anyhow, uh, I'm excited about uh, redoing my apartment. I, as I was saying, I love this lamp. I'm going to have to turn it off to show it to you. Look at, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it. And I've actually, um, I've got a succulent, uh, the plants on the back of this. And I actually, um, hang on, I'm trying to reach, okay, so... I actually made this. I made it on a video one time, and then I was going to delete my channel, and I deleted all my videos. But these are just uh, little succulents that I got from the um, from the thrift store. Little tiny succulents, and I just stick them in, and I made a little um, what would you call that plant plant planter planter of succulents? Yeah to give my apartment just a little bit of greenery, right? Because, I, I mean, I'm great with plants, I'm great with growing things on my patio, but um, I don't have a lot of luck in my apartment. And I think that's because the apartment gets very dry, it's electric heat, and the truth is, like last year, I didn't even turn my heat on because my neighbors basically heat my apartment. So, um, yeah, I never, I don't think I've turned my heat on for, I've been here over eight years, so. Anyway, I'm going to post how I brought my chair home. I'm going to post a picture of it. I hope you <laughs> I hope you see that, you know what? It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your sex. 
If you've got the will, if you've got the determination, you can do anything you put your mind to. So I shall see you on the next video. Take care and be well, my friends. Namaste.